Pokemon Puth of Art, and we are back in the room too, and we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do about uh, about all of this, uh, the whole everything. So let's see what's going on. Can I turn this thing? Can I move this? Nothing. Nothing I can interact with. That's good. We're back. We got Spooky Dark Tower because that's uh, you know hip and uh, in the in the zeitgeist at the moment. Oh, oh my God! Shame on you, game. For doing that. Cthulhu. Scaring the dank out of me. That's not nice. What do we got here? Can I fiddle with the crank handle? I bet you I know where the crank handle goes. But first. We're going to go ahead. We're going to look around here. What do we got here? Scranton. Sandston. Sandston. This was Sandston's boat. What else do we got? Do we nothing? That was just. That was just jump scare city. Alright. That's cool. I'm alright with that. And by alright with that, I mean not at all. And I hate it and I'm angry. Ooh, we're winding ourselves in. Winding ourselves in. Wind, wind, wind your boat. Just gently what drink some wine. Merrily boom. Tossed me all the way up there. Here I go. Okay, I thought there was going to be way more of that, but not at all. Okay, here we go. Even short journeys can cover great distance, and by making it to the other side of the crossing, you are now ready for the final step. May good fortune go with you. Listen, I appreciate it. Isolation card is all very deep and stuff, but you created all that for a jump scare to scare little tiny babies... Who are not big and brave like me. Alright, let's go. Let's move on. Loading. Loading the clock. This is probably going to be a tough puzzle. Because if it's anything like the... Ooh. Ooh, this feels very classic, the room. Like the room one. Oh, good. You know, Einstein was here. Sweet. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. You look at this place, yeah, it's a little spooky. It could use a little sprucing up and, like, the paint schemes are a little off-kilter. But I'll tell you what. I'd live here. I'd live in this. It's kind of cool. It has a nice affectation to it. Two. One. One. Okay. What do we got? Book? Can I have the book? Can't have the book. All right. Uh, Before we go for the obvious, let's check our surroundings. Ooh. No, sorry. It wasn't Einstein. It was like a little Tesla. So it looked like a little Tesla thing. Mechanical hand in a jar? Mechanical hand in a jar. What do we got here? Ooh. Hello. Um. Nothing then? Okay. I'm gonna back out of there before I get all jump scared again. Can I Can I look at this hand, please? I feel like that's something that I'd want to eyeball. What do we got here? Uh, Experiment 1.27. Subject Alpha-17. Lamprina Arata. 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 Lamprina Arata. Subject unresponsive to post-mortem app of serum. There's an app for that. Number four, comb with electrical stimulation of range of 10 to 100 milliamps. That's a lot of milliamps. Uh, corpus degradation considerable with high amperes. Wouldn't it be amperes? But I'm not an electrician. Uh, conclude Cleopatra until for pseudo study period. Hmm. That's a thing. Uh, oh, the Death Star. What's up, the Death Star? Nah. Nah. We're gonna... No. I'm, I'm good with all that goopiness. Hello? Click. 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 No. No, not yet. Can't have that needle. Inject. Loosen up a little bit. Oh, what's on the shelves? Nothing. What's this over here? Oh, this is the thing to do some things. Lasers? Ancient lasers. Ancient lasers. What's over here? Okay. No, no, no. I'm not going for the obvious quite yet. I just want to look and see what my surroundings are. And I want to look at this. I like old machinery. You know, like this stuff that's like... It's that weird hybrid between like modern machinery and like ain't, like older technology. A lot of wood used in the structures. It's not like all metal and sleek. It looks dirty and dingy. Like someone would probably murder you with it. Oh, good. We got another. Oh, I'll bet you I have to shoot lasers all over the place. And that's how, I, that's how I'm going to say lasers. 
lasers from now on. There's lasers. I don't know what goes in there. Math. Low, low res math. That's cool, too. All right. Uh, what's in the box? What do we do here? Hello? Okay. Can't do that. Uh, can I do on top? Can I go in here? Can I move this? Can I push the button? Mm. Can I pull up? No. Can I grab and pull twist? No. Okay. What's on the back? We got a lock on the back. Ah, and I can turn it because I'm going to get another one of them there keys. Oh, a scarab beetle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. That's good. Okay. Usually there's a letter from Alan Sam to Sammy Sam, but we found his body in the last one. And boy, shucks, that went super well. Um, door. Door. No door. 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 No door. Ooh, what's this? Can I zoom in on that? That looks openable. It looks very openable. No. It's just a little it's just a little anomaly. That's fine. Okay. Um Ah, the eye. I'm not using the eye. I should be using the eye for stuff. I got to power the door to get back out. So I got in and now I got to power the door to get out. All right. What's what's in an eye? Let's see what we got. Something spooky's going to happen. I can feel it. I figured something would have been with the math. No? Okay. Hmm. Really left to my own devices here. <sighs> this is where these games go. They have a very steep learning curve. Like, they really kind of... Not baby you. I don't want to say baby. That's a... Oh. Yes. What are you? I got a stew driver. What's in this? Subject beta 4. Radis Radis. Radis Radis. Radis again. Raratus. Subject necrosis significantly halted by post-mortem app of serum number five. Temporary muscular reflex restoration witnessed with post-mortem electrical stimulation of the range 75 to 85 milliamps. So they are dialing in what they're doing in good old Raratus Raratus. What is this back here? I, I feel like, is that a thing? Can I has? I want, I want in has. What is that? Is that, does something go there? It looks like something was ripped out. Maybe stew driver? Stew driver. No. I can't zoom in on any further, so we're just going to back up. And we're going to rethink our lives. So now we have a screwdriver. That's good. Um, maybe, uh, can I, can I observe the screwdriver? I can. Is there anything on it? No, but again, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, so we're making headway. This is good. This is good. I feel good. And I hope you do too. I mean, that thing swimming around the water out there. We, I mean, I feel so good I forget about it and how scared I was of it. And I'll bet you did too. And you think, man, Poot's really brave. Totally went past that thing. Totally like a boss. And like, I'd want to at least buy him dinner and a beer. And like, I'm like swooning over here. That's exactly what people are thinking. I mean, I get that. I mean, I understand completely what with me being so brave. Um, okay, what if I turn this? Okay, I, oh, those are in the way. Can't, can't is does, because in way. All right, can I remove those bars? How do I get past them? Do I just smash it harder? Um, all right, can't do any of that. What does that say? I wish it would let me, like, zoom in really fine. That'd be great. Can't go in on any of that stuff. All right, we got a screwdriver. Let's see what the box has for us. Maybe there's something on the box that we need the screwdriver for. Hello? No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Screws. Maybe I can stab the scarab beetle with it. Stabity. Nope. You hear that in the background? I don't know if you can. Because I adjusted the sound again. I have a hard time dialing in sound. It's weird. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of weird with OBS. I have a hard time kind of dialing in sound. So, like, things get a little, get a little wompy. But there was a thing in the background that was kind of making this noise. Like that thing. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I wonder if the screwdriver goes in here. Oh, it so does. Oh, it so does. Ooh. I'm getting closer to getting into that thing. What I get a wooden box. Sub puzzle. Let's do it. Sub puzzle. 
a wooden box. I don't know, a couple of wavy lines. We got L, L upside down T and uh, and murdered S throwing himself on the sword snake right there. What do we got? Let's let's look at the whole box. Okay, there's dimples on the back. <laughs> this guy, it kind of looks like a pig, doesn't it? Like a pig blockhead. He's got his two little eyes right here in his nose and his mouth, and he's just like. You gotta solve this puzzle. Yeah, I'm gonna get there, pig box. All right, what do we got? Uh, let's try one, two, one. Because th those are the numbers that we saw. One, two, one. Yes, no? No. Okay. So, wavy lines. So, what? wait, what was it? It was wavy lines, stabbed S, L, T. Okay. Wavy lines, stabbed S. Oh, did that thing twitch? I hope it didn't twitch. Don't want to do that. Oh, is that not moving anymore? Oh, spooky things are not moving anymore. What if I put it back? Can I put it back? Nope, won't let me put it back. I broke the thing. I broke the Cthulhu brain thing. Good. Be somebody. I don't know what numbers that... You know what? Why am I not trying the obvious? Why am I not trying the obvious? The neighbor of the beast? No, okay. Um, maybe there's on the box. SS. I, I don't know. I don't know what it wants from me. Where am I going to look? What's this? Oh, look, the null element right there. It's a tesseract looking dealy do. Uh, can't look at the math board any closer because, you know, why would I want to do that? Oh, that's one little happy antenna right there. He's just like, <laughs> come on, guys. Let's block him from solving this puzzle. Shut up, Jim. Apparently, that guy's name is Jim. See, there's that noise again. The, the, in the background. I don't know what's doing that, but it's weirding me out and maybe a little bit turning me on. I see anything, any kind of decorative anything in this game. I go, what are you? What are you? What do you mean? You mean something and you're a hint to a puzzle. Because that, like, like, right there, that little badging, give me a break. Come on. Bag for the badgers here. Um, what do we got? I don't know. We're gonna have to investigate some more. Oh god, it won't let me it won't let me zoom in on there. Like, is it because it's not lit up? So the solution has to be around. I just need to be a little more observant. Well, I'm gonna keep trucking along at this, and uh I hope you're not too bored. Uh being stuck in this weird lighthouse thing. What's going on here? Can I can I screw screwdriver? No. Okay. Hmm. Let's uh. I wonder. I wonder. Can I look at the box and no? Can't look at the box and use the eye. So what's what's in this book? Nothing. That's right. Because why would there be things in there? Can't look at that with the eye. That doesn't make any difference. Man, this is like I see gears. I see things. And not like in the I'm insane, please call, help, help, please, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nothing? Nothing with the eye either. Ugh. Game. Share your secrets with me. Especially you, Dave. Whatever whatever I called you earlier, Steve. Steve Dave. Alright, well, we'll keep trying. We'll keep pressing along and looking for more hints and secrety doodles next time on Poot the Bard Plays The Room 2. Stick with us. We're getting close to the end. Until next time, this is Poot the Bard saying, remember, don't get any on ya.